want to give you a view of a uh, jig specifically made for notching the tops of posts. Uh, in this case, the primary post, the largest post that uh, this will be used on will be an 8 inch square post. Uh, inside the jig here we've got uh, roughly 8 and a half inch square opening and you could literally put a square beam in here or, or even a round beam. Uh, but there's also uh, the possibility that this will be used on a 6x6, so there's a lot, of a, a lot of adjustment here in the length of clamping screws and so forth. The, the jig was primarily designed for notching to a customer's criteria. Uh, the first of that being the slope on uh, the top of the beam, once it's determined where that cut is to be made, This gives the customer a 412, which is what they specified. And there's different elevations of this in relative uh, positioning from the notch seat. The, uh, the first being, a f there was a five and a half dimension in here. It's for a uh, beam that will sit on top of this uh, kind of girder configuration. So I made this two positions for a five and a half and a six inch and by moving it laterally an inch and a half then the customer will have the uh, uh, will have that nice ability to uh, <laughs> I can find the pin there's the pin then this would because it's moving uh, laterally uh, in this direction it increases the height uh, moving it uh, an inch and a half increases this height to half inch. So now we're at six inches for this uh, this girder that's going to sit on top of the uh, or this beam that's going to sit on top of the girder. And then the third position of these two uh, templates up here would be in in this position here, which will give the customer a nice long ability to cut this vertical seat up through here with this chainsaw attachment. Now the bottom, the bottom of it, uh, there were two dimensions that the customer wanted. He wanted a nine and a half and he also wanted an eleven and a half. So rather than uh, make several different templates down here, I elected to make this just a simple pop off and reposition so that now he can uh, achieve the 11 and a half inch depth without changing a lot more uh, uh, to the jig. Uh, these templates here are reversible in case this side gets nicked. Same thing with this one. This one uh, was not made reversible, nor was this. Uh, but they all, of course, are replaceable. And they protrude out away from the, uh, the side of the jig so that if these are inadvertently hit, uh, they can be filled uh, in emergency. They can fill with, be filled with uh, epoxy and uh, and continue to be used. So that's about it. It's a model eight by eight uh, post beam seat jig. Because it's open on this side, the only clamp screw we'll have to position this because everything is relative to the back side of the jig. So. We wanted the jig to be positioned flat against this inside face of the jig, and this this side of the beam will float. So we've got one clamping screw, but I've provided provisions for screw attachment on the back side uh, to hold this tight against the against the post while all the cutting is being done. That's about it.